You just mentioned the educational side as well, but the um, the STEM function is obviously really important as well, and and kind of promoting that across um, you know med, the male and female uh, sectors as well. Um, what's your view on that? You know, and and do you, do you think it's been promoted enough um, to to uh, to potential female engineers? I don't think it is, and and I think the figures will will um, will show you that. Um, if I go back again to my university days, it was a very large department at, at, in Birmingham there. And I think it was in my final year, the first female um, student joined in, into the engineering department. So I'd gone through three years and, and one female um, started as I was leaving. I've now done 40 years engineering and in factories in Ireland and the UK. I have not yet worked alongside a female in an engineering department in 40 years. So something is still wrong from that point of view. It has to be. Mm. Do you think could, is, is there any recommendations that you think could be done, or or that concept that you said about bringing people on site for for periods? Is it is it, it could we do it here? Yeah, I, I think it's it's the work experience. Where whether there's a I, I don't know whether that there's a fear on 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 you know do females have a fear of, of big heavy engineering? But if they can only come into the factories and see that you know it's not all about um, you know big big heavy bags of tools and stuff like that you know then engineering is you know there's a, there's a lot more finesse to it than that and um, and again I go back to the French model um, at least fifty percent of the students that from engineering that would show an interest would be female and, and I've never seen that in Ireland or the UK. Mm. 